In today's video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to share your choreography blocking informations with the Arrangers app, and the other person doesn't even need to have the app downloaded. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about a very specific feature in the Arrange Us app. If you're not already familiar with this app, it's really awesome. There's a really robust free version and then a paid version. But basically, you can set your formations, create different blockings, see the transitions happen in real time, and even sync it to music. So if you're not already familiar with the app, I made a whole review and walkthrough of the app going through all the different features. So make sure you click that link up above to check it out. But today, we're talking about how to share your choreography. This is one feature that I kind of glanced over more, but I did have someone ask in the comments if I could show a more in-depth walkthrough for that. So that's what we're doing today. As a dance teacher and someone that sets work on other studios or schools sometimes, it's a super helpful feature for me where I can send my blockings to my subs or the organization that hired me or a collaborator. So right now I'm doing a production piece with a really large group and I'm co-choreographing with another teacher at the studio. And so we both have the app. We both will do our own blocking and then we'll share it to the other person. And that way we have the most up-to-date version as we're working on different sections. It's super helpful. Before we get into this, I realized I forgot one disclaimer. I am using a Samsung tablet. Obviously, if you have an iPad, things might look a little bit different. But the teacher that I mentioned, she has an iPad and we have been using this app back and forth for the past two years now, I think. So it is possible to do this on both iPads and other P uh, Android tablets. So just want to say that out loud. After you've made your choreography or wherever you are in the process, you click on it and we're going to go to settings, scroll all the way down and now share choreography. You'll notice it says PDF or arrange us file. PDFs are great because if someone doesn't have the app, they don't understand how to download it, whatever it is, it will still make it really easy to view. So just to show you real quick, here is one of my blockings I'm still working on, but it has the uh, formation title, it has the name, the different colors, right? So if I go to share, share choreography, PDF file, let's do that first. I'm going to say show scene directions because I like to see where audience and backstage is and generate. Doesn't take too, too long. And now I can upload it. I can email it, add it to Google Drive, whatever is easiest. In this case, I'll add it to my Google Drive. Maybe I'll rename it so I know what this is. Locking. Save. And now if you go to Google Drive, there it is. I click on it and you'll see each formation on the top has the name and has all the names, colors, all that good stuff. Now you'll notice if they're too close together, the names are a little bit jumbled up, but that's why you have numbers, which are great. So you can always go back and see whose number um, is whose. And that way, in case it's too tight, you can still know who's who. So that's if someone doesn't have the app, they don't really want to deal with it. You don't want to worry about asking someone to download the app and all that stuff. A PDF is a really great way to do it. I will do this for our dancers once it's been finalized. I'll export the final version as a PDF and then I'll upload it to a folder where all the dancers have access. This is a Google Drive folder that the studio made. And that way, if they have questions when they're reviewing at home, they can look at it. It's a little bit clear sometimes than a video that was filmed from like the corner of the studio and it's like super shaky and you can't always see yourself. If you want to be able to click through and edit the formations or things like that, you have to do the arrange us file. And that means the person who's receiving it has to also download the app. A reminder, there is a free version. You don't have to have the paid version in order to use this feature. So it's really not a huge deal and you can do it on your phone or tablet. To show the arrange us file version, I'm actually going to make a new choreography and use that as an example. So let's go and make a new one. This is our test 12 dancers. And let's say next formation, we're just going to do a little random something, something next formation. I'm gonna turn some of them, let's say a different color. And then everyone's on. Okay. So, you know, you have a couple formations. If you have music added to your file and synced up, 
when you send the arrangers file or when you export it as an arrangers file, it will not have the music attached. So just be aware of that. You would have to have the person receiving it also download the song onto their tablet or device and then re add it in if that's a feature that they want. But you're going to go to settings, scroll down, share choreography, arrange us file now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add it to my Google Drive. Super simple. Now I just share that with someone else and they download it onto their tablet. To show you, I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete this test file. Now you can see it's not there anymore. Now let's go and download it off of Google Drive. Here, let's go refresh. There you go. This is the test.arrus. That's the file. I'm going to go to download. For Android devices, I would then go to my files and see how it says test.rus. There, I'm going to click on it. Now it's going to open with, say, arrange us. And there you go. It is now in my app. I can open it. I can go through all the formations. I can now change it if I need to. I can do whatever I would normally do in the app. That's how you use the Arrangers app to share your choreography with other collaborators or people that need to see your blocking. I hope you found that helpful. Again, don't forget, I have a full review and walkthrough video of the app on my channel, so go check that out. I also have a free download for you all in the description below. If you click on it, you'll get some free backgrounds I made for Arrangers that you can download with different numbered Marley lines to help you with your blocking. That's it for this video. Like always, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon icon so you know every single time I drop a new video and if there's a feature that I didn't quite cover in depth uh, in the Arrangers app leave a comment and let me know see you next time